Hey guys, hope you have a great day. Here's another episode of Buzz TV. Enjoy. What's up, LMS? It's Nili bringing you your school news. The schedule is out for students to come to school and get back belongings, return books, and pick up yearbooks and medicine. The dates for this are June 8th, 9th, and 10th. Please see the school website and social media pages for details on times and procedures. Congratulations to our new Buzz TV staff for the next school year. The premiering episode for the new Buzz TV staff is Monday. Starting Monday, Buzz TV moves to four episodes a week. Check it out! Congratulations to 8th graders Adam Gregoric and Chad Kaufman for placing third at the State History Day competition for their group exhibit, exhibit about Charles Babbage. Attention to all 8th graders. The high school Kid to Kid Club usually gives a presentation to us about how to navigate the high school. Since they couldn't come, they have put together a Google form on the 8th grade Google Classroom for your input on your concerns so that they can put together something for us. Do you like making movies? DeSales is running a virtual summer video institute from June 22nd to June 26th. Check out the DeSales website for more information on this unique filmmaking from home with phones opportunity. Is your family in need of financial assistance? Check out the website for the United Way of the Greater Lehigh Valley for more information on how to apply. Reminder, all fall sports signups are due no later than June 3rd. The link to the Google form is on the website. Need to order a good book or two for that summer reading list? Well, the East Penn Virtual Book Fair is still going on. Order your books for summer now. Swede video contest entries are due by tomorrow. Questions? Contact Mrs. Boris. Thanks for watching LMS. Now over to Angela with your world news. It's Angela here with your world news. Many events and activities have been canceled, and one of them includes the graduation of many high school and college seniors. Luckily for Gabrielle Pierce, her dad had something prepared for her. Pierce had waited months for the Xavier University graduation ceremony, but it unfortunately got canceled. After being upset and crying for a week straight, her dad decided to throw her her own ceremony in their front yard. Over the course of six weeks, her dad managed to reserve photographer, stage, and podium. Forty people attended, wearing masks and staying six feet apart, too. So, all the mess. How do you feel about this nice moment? That's all from me. Now on over to Miel with your weather. It's Miel here with your weather update for today. Today is sunny with a high of 71 and a low of 52. Tomorrow, on the other hand, has an 80% chance of rain and the high of 71 and the low of 60. Saturday again has an 80% chance of rain. But don't worry, Sunday will be sunny and the weekend will be nice and warm. That's all for me on LMMS. Now into your sports update. This is Sarah Campbell here to give you your sports news. First off, you may be more like a professional athlete during quarantine than you might think. Many players from Major League Soccer have a strict schedule to enhance their performance on the field. When quarantine started and everything was a little out of sorts, the players had to adjust to the home life. Eventually, coaches started making fitness zooms for the players and the situation normalized a little. But, as Clint Irwin, a player for the Colorado Rapids, said, everyone is noting how challenging it is. The enthusiasm certainly could be high some weeks and lower other weeks, but it's just a matter of how you can manage that and channel it into the right areas. Take this as an example and stay active yourself. Do something fun this quarantine. Go outside, play games, 
impersonate LeBron James but as a football player? That's right. While it may not impact the world, a video was sent out the other day of someone pretending to be LeBron James but as a football player. If you want to check it out, go to ESPN Sports and go to the NFL tab. Take a break from school and laugh a little. Now here's the other Sarah with your entertainment update. It's Sarah, back at it with your entertainment news. Now, you've all heard us on Buzz TV talk about the top 10 songs, movies, food, and even roller coasters. But today, we're diving into a different end of the top 10 pool. And we're talking about podcasts. I know, this sounds super lame, but podcasts are actually great. You can learn from them or just have fun. Most of them are free as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, The Office Ladies. This podcast is by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kingsley, better known as Angela and Pam from the Office U.S. series. Listen to them as they rewatch the Office series and have fun discussing all the way. Next, we have Harry Potter and the Sacred Text, a for sure hit with any Harry Potter fan. Third, Part-Time Genius. This podcast is for anyone who loves asking questions. Hosts Will and Mango investigate weird topics while keeping it fun all the way. Fourth, we have Radio Lab, a podcast for adults, teens, and kids. Hosts on this show break down science, scientific discoveries, and more. Fifth, we have the Socially Awkward Podcast. In this show, Justin and Zach Weber share stories and have a ton of fun. Sixth, Stuff You Missed in History Class. This show delves right into the weird and wonderful stories you might be missing in school. Seventh, we have Views with David Dorbeck and Jason Nash. One of them is a 20-year-old millionaire from YouTube, and the other is just a 40-year-old single dad. But both are vloggers and discuss living in the public eye in this interesting show. Eighth, we have What's Good Games. This podcast is for, you guessed it, gamers. Three gaming industry survivors discuss gaming news, reviews, and new games, and more. Ninth, we have Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. This is a trivia show hosted by NPR News and is always worth a listen. Lastly, we have Mental Music. This podcast is about kids our age and focuses on mental health. They discuss a wide area of topics, including insomnia, how sound affects your life, social media, mental well-being, and more. Well, folks, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and will, enjoyed and will check out all of these interesting podcasts. See y'all later. Now on over to today's segment. We're back at it with a part two of TV suggestions from Buzz TV members. Let's go. This one could go without saying, but Nick recommends The Office. The Office can be found on Netflix, Sling, and Fubo TV. It has a rating of 8.9 out of 10. It has nine seasons and is a mockumentary slash cringe comedy. The Office is a mockumentary based around a paper company in the middle of a very digital age. And it is set to take place right here in Scranton, PA. But a fair warning, you will cringe very hard. Glee has been recommended by Amy. Glee can be found on Netflix. It has a 6.7 out of 10 rating. There are six seasons, and it's a musical slash rom-com. Glee's about a group of high school kids from totally different cliques that come together for their love of music in the singing group. They deal with tons of drama and lots of singing. So anybody who likes those two things, this is for you. Kyra also recommends Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls can be found on Netflix and Philo. It has a rating of 8.1 out of 10. There are seven seasons, and it's a comedy and drama. A single 30-year-old mom and her teen daughter are now living in Star Hollow, Connecticut, and they have to deal with crazy neighbors and lots of ups and downs in their relationship. Nick and Mr. Toto both recommend The Goldbergs. The Goldbergs can be found on ABC, Hulu, and YouTube TV. They have an 8.1 out of 10 rating. There are six seasons, and it's a family drama slash comedy. 
This show explores the life of a family of six plus one dog through the eyes of a young teenager in the 80s. Vivian recommends to you On My Block. On My Block can only be found on Netflix. It also has an 8.1 out of 10 rating. There are three seasons and it's a teen comedy and drama. On My Block is about a teen drama set in Los Angeles where a group of street smart teens are trying to get their friend out of gang drama whilst navigating through life. Angela recommends All American. All American is on The CW and Netflix. It has a 7.7 out of 10 rating. There are two seasons and it's a drama. All American is a show based on the real life story of football star Spencer James. The show follows him through his high school years. It's about people from two different worlds finding that they share a connection in life. Angela also recommends Dance Moms. Dance Moms is on Tubi, Sling, Hulu, Philo, and Lifetime. It has a 4.6 out of 10 rating. There are four seasons and is a reality drama. This reality show follows a dance group in Pittsburgh that's instructed by the notoriously demanding Abby Lee Miller, and it thrives off of the entitled mothers. And lastly, I recommend Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is on CBS, Netflix, Fubo, Philo, and Amazon Prime. It has another 8.1 out of 10 rating. There's, there's 14 seasons, and it's a crime and drama-based show. Criminal Minds follows a team of elite criminal profilers that work for the FBI. The show's plot revolves around them, their lives, and their cases. Thanks for watching, LMS. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show and you tune in next time. And I hope you're staying healthy and safe during this time. Bye!